Deep cleaning your mattress will remove allergens, dust, and bacteria. Plus, it's super simple. Just mix together baking soda and your favorite essential oil and sprinkle that over your mattress. Leave for 30 minutes, then vacuum it up and you're good to go. Follow for more cleaning tips. Come along as I deep clean this toilet and see if there's anything I do that you have not incorporated into your toilet cleaning routine yet. Hi guys, welcome to day two of 30 of the deep clean and reorganizing your home. Today I'm going to be doing my quarterly deep clean of my fridge. If time doesn't allow you to do this type of a deep clean all at once, I suggest just doing sections at a time. Or maybe you might just get the door and then the next day or the day after when time allows, do the inside of the fridge. I start off by removing everything out of my fridge, even the shelving units and all of drawers. This allows me to wash and dry them and then also clean the walls and then the floor of the fridge itself. I always recommend starting at the top and working your way down. I've also got myself into the habit of every um, week when I do my weekly shopping for my produce, I look and see what I have and I reorganize my fridge. This allows me to not buy duplicates of items.
Tomorrow I plan to show you guys how I clean and reorganize underneath all of my sinks. I'm a proper lover for refreshing the room on a Sunday and getting it fresh for a new week. So Andre and I decided to do the room together today, which was quite nice to have someone do it with me. Andre was downstairs putting a wash on and I stripped the bed and then just kind of cleared everything into one kind of pile so I could start spraying down all the surfaces. As you can see, they really needed it. And then I just put the plants back where they belong. Then I cleaned the big mirror in the bedroom, which to be honest, I really neglect. Like you could see how dusty it was. It was gross, but oh my God, look how pretty she is now. I was hoovering each section as I did it and just doing the skirting boards as I went along. And then I just put the plants back where they live. Then Andre hoovered the bed, like the mattress. And then we put the bedding on together. We were proper bickering at this point, which is why we had a little cuddle and made up. And then we were friends again. Then Andre went on to make the bed while I just kind of potted about and did like little bits like tidying under the desk and stuff and then cleared the desk the desk really needed to clean it was really grotty from makeup but yeah that was the room all done look how good she looks now i just absolutely love starting the week like this it just feels so good and fresh my bathroom is my favorite place to clean probably because it's the place that needs the cleaning the most i use dr broner's soap to clean the toilet tidy up the sink and the cabinet I use Better Life tub spray to spray down my tub. And then I use my DIY multi-purpose spray to clean the sink, under the sink, and the toilet. I then go and finish off the tub with a magic eraser. I spray down our squatty potty and vacuum the floor. Because our bathroom's so small, I typically wash it by hand. Watch me deep clean my bathroom.
So let's go ahead and clean my washer and dryer area together. The first thing I noticed is that there was a lot of lint buildup in this little trap, even though I do regularly change the filter. So I went ahead and took care of that. And then I put away the rags that I used to clean with, except for this one, which I just put it around wherever I need it. Um, in the little basket I keep it in, put that where it goes, magic erasers up on the shelf, put my towel with the towels, put that away. I keep this lint um, as a fire starter, so instead of throwing away my lint, I keep it as a fire starter. And next, I went ahead and showed some love to this washer. I did not buy this new. I actually could not afford to buy a new washing machine at that moment when mine had broke. So my friend had this in their garage and it worked and everything and they were kind enough to give it to me because I was in need of one. So I'm really thankful. So that's why you see all this, you know, excess grime and whatnot. I haven't really deep cleaned it. So today we're just giving it that love. And whenever you guys see my fabric softener filter, area you are going to lose it I have not been able to take that off yet I've been trying to take it off I don't think I can I know this washer is quite old so I ended up use also ended up using uh, q-tips to get underneath the lip of this because I can't I can't take off the lid I don't know if you're supposed to but I can't and that worked super well there was so much grime and build up I had had this for probably about a year now and I never really gave it a good deep clean so that's what we're doing today and yeah I just hope you guys enjoy I will get back to cleaning my extra made disgusting carpet I do just need to clean a few other things for upkeep at the moment because I ended up kind of forgetting about the rest of my house um, so yeah, I will get back to that soon. I promise and hope you guys enjoy this Thank you so much for sticking around and I appreciate every single one of you. Bye friends <laughs>